Science Olympiad Class 8 Friction Introduction Gently push a book on a table. You observe that it stops after moving for some distance. Repeat this activity, pushing the book from the opposite direction. Does the book stop this time too? We say that a force must be acting on the book opposing its motion. This force is called the force of friction. You saw that if you apply the force along the left, friction acts along the right. If you apply the force along the right, the friction acts along the left direction. In both cases, the force opposes the motion of the book. The force of friction always opposes the applied force. In the above activity, the force of friction acts between the surface of the book and the surface of the table. Factors affecting friction Make an inclined plane on a smooth floor or on a table. You may use a wooden board supported by bricks or books. Put a mark with a pen at any point A on the inclined plane. Now, let a pencil cell move down from this point. How far does it move on the table before coming to rest? Note down the distance. Now, spread a piece of cloth over the table. Make sure that there are no wrinkles in the cloth. Try the activity again. The distance covered by the pencil cell differs every time. The distance covered depends on the nature of the surface on which the cell moves. Surface Irregularities Friction is caused by the irregularities on the two surfaces in contact. Even those surfaces which appear very smooth have a large number of minute irregularities on them. Irregularities on the two surfaces lock into one another. When we attempt to move any surface, we have to apply a force to overcome interlocking. On rough surfaces, there are a large number of irregularities, so the force of friction is greater if a rough surface is involved. Friction – A Necessary Factor When your teacher is writing with chalk on the blackboard, its rough surface rubs off some chalk particles which stick to the blackboard. If an object started moving, it would never stop if there were no friction. Had there been no friction between the tires of the automobiles and the road, they could not be started or stopped or turned to change the direction of motion. Friction can also produce heat. Vigorously rub your palms together for a few minutes. How do you feel? When you strike a matchstick against the rough surface, it catches fire. You can cite various other examples in which friction produces heat. Wheels reduce friction. When one body rolls over the surface of another body, the resistance to its motion is called rolling friction. Rolling reduces friction. It is always easier to roll than to slide a body over another. That is the reason it is convenient to pull luggage fitted with rollers. Since the rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction, sliding is replaced in most machines by rolling by the use of ball bearings. Common examples are the use of ball bearings between hubs and the axles of ceiling fans and bicycles.